to hold for better for worst for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health till death do us part till death do us part in the name of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit Now you repeat after me. I Agbo April. I Agbo April. I am Bambi Ayok. I am Bambi Ayok. Do take Moki Maxwell Monono. Do take Moki Maxwell Monono. As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Jesus. Father, I can't sweep the name of Jesus. The devil is fighting this union. What happened, Pastor? Pastor, please, tell us. What did you see? Sister April is a good girl, and she deserves all the best. But I don't know, something doesn't just add up. Pastor, I don't understand. Hmm. Last night, I had a terrible revelation about Sister April and the husband. Hi. Satan is fighting a lost battle. God is in control. Amen. Amen. Amen to that sister. But let me find out. Have you taken time to study this boy before accepting him? That's the same question I was asking. Though Max comes from a very good Christian home, he has spent most of his time abroad. And you know the influence staying abroad has on children these days. Yes. Yes, that has been my greatest challenge. I would have passed him through our marriage preparation classes. But all the same, we all can only wish for the best. When God reveals, is to redeem. Amen. And because Amen. He has revealed, He will surely redeem. Amen. All we need to do now is to pray. Thank you very much, Pastor, for your love and support. Amen. You have been a blessing to us. Amen. Can we now please rise from prayers? Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I thank you for your children, O oh God. 
Lord, I bless you because you are the God that never fails. Lord, I know at a time like this, this family is going through challenges. But because you are the God that seated in the heavenly place and the earth is your first too. See the truth in this challenge in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, take control in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Okay, this way.
jack on this glass? <laughs> yes, Inspector. Why are there two different bottles of wines? I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> So you mean this bottle was for him alone and this for you? Yes, yes. <laughs> is here. Hope you've gotten all we need. Yes, boss. Yes. All you need to do now is to take heart. The Lord God Almighty himself will surely see her through. Please, immediately you come back from the police station, give me a call. Okay. I would have really loved to go with you, but for the fact that I have some people to attend to in the office. Thank you, Pastor, Thank you, Pastor for all your prayers and support. Amen. Pastor. Yes, <coughs> great woman. If only we obeyed what God revealed to you. If only we did not give ears to our daughter. <laughs> and if only we took time to pray mm. <laughs> and fast over it. Hey. My sister, please. <laughs> so you have succeeded. So this was your game plan to take away his life and property. Ah, you have failed. You will not succeed. I will make sure your daughter get the maximum sentence she deserves. Sister, please. <laughs> please calm down. Calm down. Let's talk things maturely. How dare you imply I am talking immaturely? Lord of Jesus. Look here, mister. Don't you poke your nostrils into something that does not concern you. Oh. Nonsense. Father, thank you. And as for you guys, I will see into it that I get justice for my loss. It's a promise. Nonsense. Hey, God. I guess you met her at the wedding. Mm. That's Max's elder sister, Patience. Oh, she oh, oh. has a fervent character. Excuse me, did you say her name is Patience? Patience. Yes, wow. Anyways, let me, me take my leave now so I can attend to some people in the office. Okay, Pastor. God Pastor. bless you. Thank you, Pastor. It is well with you all. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, have a great day. Thank, Thank you, Pastor. Pastor. Tell him to say, I'm a nobody. Yeah, yeah. 
She said I was broke, I couldn't buy a thing, cause I'm a nobody. She said I was broke, I couldn't buy a thing, cause I'm a nobody. I'm not automated, cause you won't call me like every day. Call you won't see me like every time. Carry on fake love the gold. 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 Missy Smokey. Call me April. Okay. April. Can you tell us what happened? Chief, I already told you. Indulge me. We had finished from the wedding service in the church. <laughs> then the reception. We took one of our cars to our honeymoon suit. Where we were supposed to spend a few days before traveling to the States. Our flight tickets are already paid and all arrangements made. You can confirm that. After a short while of drinking and you know, honeymoon things. Thereafter, he was feeling dizzy and very tired. He decided to shower again. <laughs> <laughs> then he noticed the shower was not flowing. He asked me to notify the receptionist. <laughs> I went down to the reception. After telling the receptionist, she called for another to go and check. Because according to them, it can't be possible. We went back inside and, <laughs> and, and, and... And what? Tell me! What did you see? We met my husband! In a pool of his own blood! <laughs> Are you telling me that it took you 35 minutes just to inform the receptionist about your bath? No. Why then were you between the hours of 9.10 and 9.45 p.m.? I was in the hotel. You left the receptionist, then came back only after 20 minutes. down just to have an alibi. Then you went back up to complete your mission. You killed your husband, April. I did it. I did not kill my husband. Then who did? <laughs> your time of absence matches squarely with the period of his murder. Look, April. If you can plead guilty and your sentence can be looked into, your prints were everywhere on the crime scene, on the murder weapon, and on the cops. I was in shock. 
shock when I saw my husband in the pool of his own blood. I went running to him, held him. And besides, we were over each other a few minutes before the incident. That could account for my print. Did you really know your husband very well? What do you mean by that? I mean, did you know who he was? Yes, I did. How well? married to him? Show me one man who doesn't have that particular weakness. <laughs> you were enduring because you had a plan to take away his life and inherit his wealth. Just tell us the truth. I did not kill my husband. Why should I kill the man I love? I guess you know the answer to that question. For money of course! Hello? <laughs> Inspector Denzel here. <laughs> oh, <you're> sharply. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Take her. Chief Inspector, <clears throat> from the autopsy report, it shows that Mark had been poisoned even before he was stabbed. In fact, I don't know what this guy did or who he was that so many people wanted him dead. He would have still died even without the stabbing. What? Yes, Chief. He would have still died. He had already been intoxicated even before he was stabbed. Wow. Things keep getting interesting. Doctor. Chief. Is it possible he was poisoned because the perpetrator knew she couldn't overpower him? Hmm. Chief Inspector. It could be possible. Yeah, it could be possible. But I think the person who actually poisoned him didn't know somebody else had the same plan because the poison was strong enough to kill him. Please, doctor, can I have the autopsy results? Yes, chief. These are the results. Thanks a million for the information. I think I'll send my men immediately to bring in the receptionist. 
It's my pleasure, sir. I'll take my leave now. The suit. Who arranged it for Max and April? Like I said, one of my girls, Telma, was responsible. Manager, I would want you to tell me the truth. Because as I speak with you now, my team is interrogating your men in separate rooms. So I'm not here to tolerate any cock and bull story from you. Understood? Yes, sir. You were one of the first persons who saw Max before he was murdered. Yes, sir. Did you notice anything abnormal with him or the wife that evening? You can talk to me. Your secrets are safe with me. I saw the wife entering 118 that mm -hmm. same night. And she stayed there for some time. Can you approximate the time? I can't really tell, but it was before she came down to call for us. I saw her enter that same room at the eve of her wedding. Mm. And she stayed there for some hours before coming out all sweating. So who was in room 118? Customer client privacy. I think only the manager can answer that. Room 118. Who occupied room 118 during the period from Max's bachelor's party to the day of his murder? Room 118. I would like to see my logbook. Very well, I will need to get that information as fast as possible. Do you know you can go to jail for withholding information from the police? I implore you to tell me everything you know about Max and April before or on the night of their honeymoon. Please, sir. I will tell you all what I know. I don't want to go to jail for what I didn't do. Go ahead. Mr. Max is one of our main customers. He has rooms in our hotel where he meets with different girls. I wouldn't want to say what happened at his bachelor's eve night. The fact that he invited three different girls and rented three different rooms for them? No. And what was that? Which right do you have to do that? Shut up, Max. Why are you like this? I thought you have changed. Why do you find pleasure in hurting that poor girl who has done nothing but to love you? Look, boy. Today is my last day of being single. You know what I mean? It means I have to make it count. And go ahead and tell me more. Married to that girl? Because if you're not going to be faithful to her, you better not continue with it. Boy, she will be the woman of the house. All the other girls are just the other girls. She always have a place in the house. Jesus. 
Did you just hear what? Max, you are wicked. You are very wicked. Ouch. As I was passing, and as they were shouting, I had to listen through the door and caught all what they were saying. So you think he killed him? I mean, Rene. I did say that, but I think it had something to do with her. I am a woman. I know when a guy loves a lady. If he was in love, or is still in love with her, and realizes that his friend doesn't love her and is going to be cheating on her, I think he has enough reason to kill him. You may be right. I am a woman, and I know when a guy loves a lady. People kill for love to protect their loved ones. Did you get that? Sorry? No. That's not for you. Thanks. That'll be all for now. truth now? Who is this other girl and how does she know so well about all of Max's ex? Jesus. What do you want from me? The truth, Gina. Who killed Max? I don't know. I'm innocent. Then tell us who did. Who killed Max? I don't know. I only received a text the day after Max died. I didn't kill Max. I'm innocent. This other girl, how did she get your number? Sir, I don't know. She even told me that Max had about 12 girls in this city and even promised some of them marriage. Some of these girls are having children for Max. If you ask me, any of them will have the motive to kill him. Exactly, my dear. That is exactly my point, Gina. Look at what Max did to you. He was your first man. Promised you heaven and earth. Took away your virginity and dumped you like a piece of trash. That was why you killed him. I didn't kill Max. I didn't kill Max. I was hurt. Yes, I was hurt. I was hurt that he dumped me for my sister or for the other girls. But I did not kill Max. Who done it? I don't know, sir. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> sir, I don't know. <laughs> yes, come in. Good afternoon, Chief. Welcome, madam. Thank you. Chief, I need to know how far you've gone with my brother's murder case. We are doing our possible best to make sure we nail the perpetrator or perpetrators as soon as possible. That is not good enough for me. What I need is results and not promises. That is what we are talking about. Results. I called you here because the autopsy results italicize another very shocking revelation. Tell me more. 
we have discovered beyond doubt that somebody poisoned Maxi's wine. What? So you see, we are now searching not only for the knife murderer, but also for the person who poisoned his drink. How come his wife did not die? It must be her. She poisoned the wine. That can only be the explanation why she did not die, because she knew about it. Yes. That can be possible. But I believe that is what the perpetrator wants us to think and look at. You have a point. Oh. Jesus. What did my brother ever do to deserve being murdered by stabbing and poisoned? That is the million dollar question. But I assure you, we will get to the bottom of this. As I talk to you now, my team is unwrapping other leads. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, if you need anything more, don't hesitate to call me. Have this little token from me. Thanks very much, madam. My pleasure. I'll be waiting for your update. The rest are short. I will keep you updated. Thank you. I'll take my leave. Have a good day, madam. I need you in my office immediately. bit of information about this lady. Something didn't add up when I was speaking with her. Okay, Chief. We'll be on it. Deep, deep. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hello, Sister May. All right, I'm in the office. I'll be waiting. See you shortly. I'm sorry, I just have to leave you now. I need to attend to, to, to 
some people, okay? Thank you very much, Inspector. Whatever information you need that will help vindicate my daughter, you let us know. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Agbo. But I would like to have a word with the press sister and... No problem, Inspector. Since you have her address, you can go to her house. May leaves with her there. My regards for the time taken to carry out the necessary investigations. And I hope you acquire a perfect discovery finally on this matter. I will, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Inspector. Thank you, Inspector. It's I wish pleasure. you the best. Thank you. Gone through this intel. How legit and authentic are these? 100%, sir. From what we have here, it seems all these four are responsible for the murder. Exactly, sir. But I think someone's mother is trying to play a fast one on us. Then we have to act fast. Perfect. Please, make sure you get to the root of this. Shut your sir. We believe now. April. Are you happy being here? No, I'm not. Please, you have to let me go. My husband will be buried next week and I have to be there. I hope by then this case will be closed. Great. April, have you told us everything you know about your husband and Rene? Yes, I believe so. What about the fact that you are dating Rene? What? You are aware Max had a fight with Rene on the eve of your wedding, and you didn't see it necessary to inform us? No. Be careful with what you say. Or it may implicate you the more. You and Rene are dating. A perfect reason to kill Max and inherit his wealth. You poisoned his drink because you knew you could not overpower him. Oh, you arranged with Rene to go into the room when you left to see the receptionist and he murdered your husband. 
It was your game plan all along to make it look like someone else. You connived with him to kill Max and inherit his wealth. We didn't. We have an alibi. How? We were together in room 118. You can ask the main receptionist. He saw me when I was entering the room. So you even cheated on your husband on the eve of your wedding? God! What is this world turning into? No, I didn't. I went there to tell him that I'm a married woman and I love my husband. But Rene never wanted to let me go. So he killed him? No. I left him inside his hotel room when we met Max. There is no way he could have done it. Introduce him to her, but since he cannot see a skirt without looking underneath, he confused her with work. Front of the hotel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Baby, please, excuse me. to meet Max, my very good friend. Max, meet April. The one I've been telling you about. Hello. You're beautiful. Thank you. Oh, no, you can come sit, please. Sure, sure, I have to sit down. Yeah. Just sit so we round up. Okay, okay. Since that day, I lost my woman. She said it's true love. We did all we could to restore what we had, but we lost it. So you decided to kill him, didn't you? Oh, no. Bring in the others.
What is the third? Let me get her. Please, what's going on here? These are the people who conspired to kill your husband. Oh, no, 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 I, I didn't kill him, I didn't kill him. All three of them? No. He is innocent. Your sister May did. What? She killed him? Oh yes. Me, who couldn't bear to fly, killed Max? This is unbelievable. Me, why? Why me, why? I can answer that question for you. And so can you and April. What? April. Don't you think your sister May has all the right to even kill you together with your husband? What? Yes! April left you for Max. Same as he dumped me for April. April, is that true? You mean you didn't know? Wow. Guys and their secrets. Me, can you enlighten us? Very well then. Since you are not willing to speak, I think I can help you. You see, Max has been dating April all through her days in the university. When he was building his student hostel in Boya, in a span of two years, he impregnated her five times. Then she taught her into emotions on the basis that he did not like her to stress while in school, especially as she was in her final year. Added to that, they promised to get married when she was done with school. Max changed his mind. Immediately he set eyes on April. Me, don't you want to continue? Yes. He thought he could have his way with everyone. I was a fool. I gave him my virginity. Allowed him to destroy my life all because I thought he loved me. My love, please. What do you want? What do you want? Why are you like this? What do you want that I've not given you? I've gone through five abortions for you. What do you want me to do? Me, I'm trying my best <laughs> to be a good guy to you. But you cost me all my friends and try to get married to my sister. I Max Max of all the girls in this world must it be my sister? Must it be my sister? Please me. You have destroyed me! I want to destroy my sister too! Please me. What we had is dead and gone. I I'm getting married to your sister now. Take it or leave it. And when you think of telling, remember your father's health condition and what this your five abortions and no woman will do to him. Right? He called sleeping with all my friends. Being good, then you killed him. Is that why you killed him? No. 
Not yet. I'm very sorry, me. Your womb has been completely damaged because of the drugs you took. I had no choice but to remove it. If we had not taken away the fragments of your womb, it would have decayed and maybe killed you in the process. We had to do what we did. The abortion was unprofessionally done.
That is an excellent question. I think she can make a very good detective. The other killer is certainly one of you. We already have our killer. Can't you understand? She poisoned and stabbed him. Can't you understand? Oh, really? Are you telling us that you didn't stab him? I did not kill him. But your prints were everywhere on his body. At least for April. We can understand. They were morning wood. But for yours? They are called for consent. I was the main actor in their wedding. I might have pushed him or something happened within the course of the wedding. That can be possible. We thought about it. If you did, the prince would have been on his suit, not on his bare body. Spare us this drama and get to the chase. We have evidence against you. Just tell us you did it. Remember the day you came to my office? The moment I told you that somebody poisoned your brother's drink, you felt very relieved. Only someone who has something to hide behaves the way you did. the world for us, my dear. We are sorry for keeping you here. You and Rene are free to go. But for these two, you are under arrest for the murder of Mr. Moki Maxwell Monono. Anything you say here again can all may be used against you in the courts. You have the right to remain silent and the right to a lawyer. Bring them away. <laughs> 